He is a graduate of DeMantha High School and a former student of the University of Maryland College Park, which he attended for two years. As a business major, he maintained a 3.0 overall grade point average. On June 27th, Gerard Mustoff was the first round draft pick for the New York Knicks. He is currently employed at the County Executive Office where he is coordinating a Prince George's County youth program. Not only is he an outstanding basketball player, but an outstanding young man that represents his family, community, and all of Prince George's County. I now introduce to some and present to others Mr. Gerard Mustoff. Thank you, Charlene. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure for me to be here today and to speak to you all. I'm glad to see so many young faces here today. Thank you. And I wish you the best in all your endeavors. As Charlene stated, I was recently drafted by the New York Knicks in the NBA's annual draft. I'll be leaving in September to go to New York. But currently, I'm working for the county and the Office of Prairie Clendenin. I'm working with Greg Gill, who's a county drug coordinator. Every day, almost, is our job to go out and try to save the community and the county from the vicious drug cycle that's going on. And I think it's a job that everybody should have a hand in. And I think that um, we're doing fairly adequate in that. I'll be working until next month doing this, and then I'll be off. Um, what I want to do is I want to explain to you a couple things that I think are very important especially the young people here today. The first thing I would like to mention is about values. I believe that our values as a generation, the people of my generation, are 20 years old, and I guess the kids who are 16, 17, everybody in here, our values have been very misplaced. And I think that that starts within the individual and also within the home. I think that a lot of times we go out and we see people who drive fancy kind of emulate that. And it's I recommend that each one of you here get a sheet of notebook paper when you go home and write down the top priorities. Number one, two, three, four, five, on down. List the things that are most important to you. And whenever there comes a time when things aren't going well, you can always go to that list and look and see if something's out of order. I'll give you an example. When I was going to DeMatha High School, they came up, and when you achieve those goals, you must set new goals. Suppose something happens and you don't acquire the goal that you've set out. Then you must reset it and make your best effort to succeed and attain that goal. I'm going to tell you a little brief history about myself. When I st started to attend the math of high on six, I'm outside the basketball court near my house, playing, working on my left hand, right hand, doing things that would propel me to the future that I envisioned. Working hard, trying to make something out of myself, trying to become the best basketball player that I could in the summertime. And I was doing it. And maybe a drill pusher came by. He came by and he stood there and he watched me. He said, hey, this guy has a future. This guy has goals set. He is trying to be something in his life. He's trying to be something. And then he went down to the corner and saw some of my friends, some of my classmates down there, not doing anything, wearing the latest fashions, dressing nice, trying to pick up opposite sex, and things like that. And right away, he got the image. They're the fashion conscious, very fashion conscious. They're interested in, in things like that. And so he sat and he thought, he compared it to him, and said, hey, you have some people over here who are idle, who aren't doing really anything to themselves. And you have a guy over here who's working hard, who's trying to be something. Now, drug dealers are pretty smart. And don't, don't get fooled by it. They're pretty smart, and I believe they can detect which is easier to get to sell drugs, someone not doing anything or someone that is making positive impact. And maybe he didn't get me. Maybe he um, decided to leave me alone and get the other person. And I believe that's a reason why and how a lot of people get trapped in the drug department when they're not doing anything to either. So I really encourage parents, all the parents here, to get your children involved in activities. Make them do something. Tire them out. 
So they won't have the excess time to go out and get involved in negative things. I was out to watch what's happening. We look at everything that's going on. Then there are those who wonder what's happening. They have no idea what's going on. And then there are those who make things happen. And I want to make things happen, to make positive things happen, positive impact on people like yourselves and younger people. And hopefully we can make Prince George's County, State of Maryland, and ourselves a whole lot of better people. Now, the next thing I want to get on is about sharing, something I think is very important to you, as far as sharing responsibilities. The hope that at least they got to one person. I don't believe in that philosophy. I believe that if I come speak to a group about something, that I can have the attention of the whole group and everybody can benefit from it. Because if I wanted to get to one of y'all individually, I would have called one of you up on the telephone and sent my message. And again, I want to thank you for having me here today. I really appreciate this. I know my father does. It's his first time hearing me speak to someone. Don't and hopefully you can convert to New York Knicks. <laughs> and remember, for me, basketball is not, it's not everything for me. There are other things involved. Basketball is a vehicle that I'm going to try to use to get me where I need to be. Hopefully one day, my career is over. It's not that long. You never know how short it's going to be. Could be one year. Hopefully it's going to be at least five years. I can come back to the county. By then I should have my degree in political science and work with President Denny or whoever was in the office and hopefully one day run for office and that she will remember me and vote for me. <laughs> Again, thanks a lot. And um, keep, keep everything in mind about priority.